Hello and welcome to my channel today we're going to do a production. In today's tutorial I am going to teach you how you can mix your reggae beat in FL Studio. I know when I, I make this type of beat, the wicked eyes are red. He got what the same thing. I and I just say to Ja, touch their stone hearts. Let's get started. So if you want me to explain how I made this beat, you can comment below. You are free, but today I'm just going to show you how we can mix this beat. So I'll start with a kick. Also on 8, Coriza. So just click on this band. So as you can see, there are bands here. If I click on this one, you can see it has changed here. So just click on this one so that you EQ your sound. You remove the frequency you don't want this side. So let me play the kick. So here I love just putting it at 30 hertz. Then here you can see the bands which I have there. Just one, three, five, and seven. Other bands you can turn them on by clicking on them. Like two, you can click on it if you want to use it. Four as well. So any other band. So I'll just turn on eight. Then click on eight so that you have the low pass here. The frequency we don't want. So you can use the mouse wheel to change the, the slope you want to use. It's up to you. Sometimes when you use like this slope here, it chops the sound. You can hear the sound is like being chopped. You can even hear it if you are paying much attention. So most of the sound, I don't like using this slope because sometimes some other sound they may sound bad when or maybe after mixing. So I love using slope 6 or 12. So you can try the other slope. Just leave it here, then I'm going to apply the saturation. If you don't have this one, you can use this one. Fruit, first disc, just the same thing. You can use it if you don't have this saturation knob. So go to the next sound. So as you can hear this one, all the other percussion, hi-hat, and other sounds there on this drum. So I used the, the synth to come up with this drum pattern. I didn't use some drum samples. That's the reason why you are seeing it. All the sounds you are hearing, they are on this road here. So you need to be good at mixing this because I've got a bunch of sound on one inset. So if this one, let me add any stock EQ and see what's going on. So you can see the rim shot is here. So I've just pushed it a bit. So without it, with it, so then I'm going to add also an equalizer. Turn on this one, click on it, low pass. So here I'll just remove, I'll just do this. Here I'll use this rope so that I can just remove up to, just leave it at 16 southern hits. So I'm fine with it. Just let me add some saturation. The reason why I'm adding saturation because some of the sounds we use most of the times, they have got a low quality. So this saturation knob helps it to have those sounds to have quality. You can see when you turn it all the way up, you can even see that they, they will change in volume. So be careful with this so that you're not making the sounds to be louder than they were before. You can control them by using the faders here or the volumes on the mixer or even on the channel rack. So 
So if you want to balance your sound, you can just turn off the effects, then you just check where your drums are hitting so that you can balance it with this knob or you can leave it there if they are good as loud as they have become. So just say negative 18 with the effects. I've seen I've gone to negative 9, so let me check the kick. I love balancing my other drum patterns or drum samples with the kick. So the kick you can see it has gone a bit high. So just put it at somewhere here. So these I will reduce them a bit as well. You just check them with the kick. I'm happy about the way they are. Got the next sound. I love this one. Let me add equalizer first before I add anything else. So here it's high pass, then this side is low pass. So if I've got uh, a sound which is like above other sound, I like reducing it. So let me just check, I'll reduce it about a dB. So the way I've cut it here, I'm going to add another band here and then I'm going to boost it here so that I can bring back what I've removed here. Move it somewhere here. If you want to hear what you are doing, you can hold out on the keyboard, then you click on this band here, you are able to hear what is happening and which sound or which frequency you have boosted. So let me play the sound you are going to hear. So that's what I've boosted here. So just click on this, then low pass. So I'm removing the frequency I don't want so that I can leave some headrooms for the other high hats or the hats this side. So this one, I'll just take it somewhere here. Let me just hear something here. So I'm happy about that. Then I'm going to add this one, Exciter. The reason why I add Exciter, some of the sound, most of the time, they are much here. Just here. You hear? If I click somewhere here, here it. You hear how low it is? If it's the highs, you find that it is even worse. You hear? So I use this to balance the frequency. So if I check the highs here, I mean the low here, just a bit, so I can just boost it a bit. Oh, let me just leave it the way it is because I don't need it as, a, as such. So this one, I'll just boost it a bit, then this one. Don't boost it that much because your sound will sound distorted, so just add a bit. Then here, I'll add a bit. How much you add is up to you. There's no wrong or right. It's up to what you want to come up with. So I'm going to add saturation to boost now everything. Sorry, I've forgotten to unsorrow this part. Just unsorrow this one. So let me just check the actual volume of this sound. So just say 15 dB. The effect has gone above. Let us just reduce it a bit. So I can hear some distortion. Let me check. Let me just hear a bit. Even here. This one, let me reduce it a 
bit, maybe boost it a bit. Got the next sound, then this one. Just wanted to play the way it is playing. So this is a organ. I'm going to add this one. Move the frequency I don't want. More special with the organ, if you just use this rope, you can hear the cut. You hear that? Here. So just use. Use this rope, then this side, so this one I'll just leave it the way it is. So I'm going to add exciter. Let's see if I put some more low frequency. Let's just leave it. Boost it a bit. Then this one. This one. So let's add saturation. So this one, let us make it a bit wide by using the major. So the rows are just turn them all the way down and make sure you click here so that you activate this effect. So I'll just put 25 here, make it wide a bit. Same with here. So if you want to add the number, you can just double click like here, just double click then to give you this, then you type the number which one and press enter. Let's just reduce it a bit. Put the next sound. So this is a piano. Me when I'm mixing my beat, I don't use the int panel checking which frequency I've removed, which frequency I've remained. I use my ears when I'm mixing my beats. So I don't follow anyone's rules where I say, no, this starting from here, there is what? Starting from there, there's this. I don't follow such. Because the reason why I don't follow that, if I can't hear it, how am I going to remove it? Simple as that. So this one, I'm going to add exciter. The reason why I love adding exciter, some of these sounds we use, they have low quality. So exciter, it helps the sound to have at least some quality. And make sure when you are doing this, you are playing your sound. But as for me, I've done this several times, so I know what I'm doing, even if I can't hear the sound. Let me add, then how you arrange your effects here is up to you, the way you want the effects to be here. You can add them the way you want them to be added here. Use it a bit. Then this one, I'm going to add imager. So with the rows, I want to make them white. This one, I'll just put it at 30. Same with this one. Same with the, this one. Go 
with the next sound. one of just add saturation and reduce it a bit go to the next sound cut here high pass the same thing here so this one can here i need to add so the reason why i'm adding this effect is because i can hear the way the sound is so the sound is the one which is telling me that you need to add this effect i'm not just adding for the sake of adding effects no me add saturation and don't add too much of saturation your beat will sound distorted when you play the other sounds together so this one let me just add a bit of some whiteness this one eyes i've just put 30 i mean the lows are 20 same with this i don't want it to be that much white just want it to be a bit white so that it is not crushing the other sounds got the next sound so you can see I've got a lot of sound in this beat. So if I'm not good at mixing, you can hear that your beat won't sound as if you have mixed it after you are done mixing because of a lot of sound. But what is important is to work very much on the volume balancing. That's the key. Just turn on this band. Okay. Let me add saturation. Use it a bit. This one you can see it is off. Just turn it on. Let me add this one. And you have seen when I'm mixing my beat, I don't like I mix, I play with the other sound, I mix. I like mixing everything, then I play all the sound when I'm done adding effects to this sounds that's the way i mix if you can mix and hear what you are doing it's up to you it depends with how you mix your beat or how you do your mixing Okay. 
me add exciter so here I'll boost it a bit same with here and here as well okay so let me add saturation Then this one, I want it to be white. Let's see if I've got some raw frequency. Can't hear anything. Then here. So here, the numbers which I'm putting here, it's up to how wide you want to, your sound to be. There's no wrong or right to say it's supposed to add this wideness to this sound, that wideness to that sound. It's the way you want your sound to be white. That's how you can go about the bands here. Let me just choose it a bit. Then here, bring it down a bit and here as well. Because sometimes this one and the saturation this one they make your sound to be distorted so careful with this got the next sound so this is a buzz let me add coriza first so the way i mix my buzz this side they love putting it at skis the head so that it is leaving some head room with the kick here they are not crashing so i love putting it skis the or above skis this depends with the buzz i'm using then this side you can see it is starting from so i'll just use this band and sometimes there's a situation where if i haven't clicked on the band like this one here let me just do this like the way it is here let me just add another one so that I can show you if, in case you experience that. If you add, let's say this one. So this side, when you just, if you haven't clicked on any band here, then just click here. It automatically give you this high pass shelf. But this side, if you just come and click here, you're going to see that it will change. Just look. Have you seen what has happened? So this side, make sure you are clicking on the band you want to low pass before you do that. So if you want to reset it, just come on this one, which is 10 bell, click on it. Then this one, just click back the way it was to be back to normal. So this one, just click on it like this. Then that's when you click this side so that it gives you this. So remember that you just did it this one. So click here, then up this shelf. Just leave it there, then here, I'll just add saturation. Then reduce it a bit, go to the next sound. So this one I'll just add Coriza. So here I'll make it like this. Then click on this band, then here. This one just add let me add exciter. Boost it a bit here as well, and here. Then saturation. So 
So now let's hear everything where it's going to sound. So these other sounds, more especially this, they are the few in. There's this guitars, this. I can mix them later on. That's the reason why you can't hear them. So now here, the way I do it, you can just play everything, then reduce the master volume so that you hear if there's any sound which is playing on the higher volume or lower volume, can you? Now adjust them. So let me just do that. So I'll play the beat and reduce the master volume, then turn it into mono. Then here, I've got these knobs. Here, with the kick, I love putting it mono. If you want, you can make it steady on the knee. These drums, I'll just separate them a bit. You can play your sound while you are doing this, but I've been doing this. Even if I can't hear what I'm doing, I'm able to know what I'm doing. So make sure you're playing your sound. You can even see, I've put it in mono. If you are doing this, if it is in mono, you can't hear anything. So I've seen the buzz here in mono a bit. So let me now reset everything. I'm going to hear that the beat is going to sound more white than it is. Children are moving in the street. No one is caring about them. One man is just in passing by, looking on the children suffering. A rich man driving his expensive vehicle without giving, paying much attention to the street kids. Me God, what a same thing. We are living in the Babylon life. Calm down, Uja, and take total control. This has been Frederick. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. In the mouth.